subscribers, whether you put a comment down or not, but Shazbot asked if Boomer ever meows or ever talks. Boomer has a squeaky meow, but he doesn't he doesn't meow often. He does caterwaul when he is frisky. <laughs> so we do have hey, a video on our uh, neighbors. It's called Bow Chicka Meow Meow. Yeah. Um, the neighborhood Zoo. Neighborhood but, Zoo Channel. But yeah, he's a uh, Maine Coon and he's got a squeaky little... So he does meow. I don't think he blinks though. I've never seen him blink. <laughs> I don't know. He just stares at you like one of those toys that never blinks. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Okay, got a few shout outs. April from One Proud Mama asked me to give a shout out. Happy 12th birthday to Haley from July 21st. Happy birthday, Haley, and good luck with school. You're going into sixth grade. Have a good time. And also, happy birthday, happy 40th birthday to Craig, April's husband. Um, his birthday was on August 9th, so happy birthday to you, Craig. Welcome to middle age. <laughs> We're past that. Uh... Trisha Weiss, shout out to Jessica Long. Have a great sophomore year. Your mother loves you more than you will ever know. And shout out to C TCD. Blah. And shout out to TCG dude Greg Myers. He's going to watch Annabelle Creation today. Let us know what you think about that. We would yeah. love to know. I'm jealous. We gotta wait till it comes out on TV. And also a shout out to Thomas Farr, who's been with us since the very beginning. And that leads me to my question. I still have more shout outs, but I'm gonna throw my question in right now. How long? <coughs> How long have you been watching The Neighbors? There you go. Okay, we got some thoughts and prayers. Music lyrics 15. I need more thoughts and prayers, please, for both my uncle and my little hamster. They are wanting to do dementia tests on my uncle now, and also my little hamster, Harry, had to get his teeth cut yesterday, and since, he's been, since then he's been sick. He's developed a head tilt. Thankfully this morning it was a little better, but now he's got a really bad eye. Just hoping they both recover. Well, our thoughts and prayers go out to your uncle and your hamster, <laughs> Harry. And um, I know what it's like. I used to take my hamster to the vet all the time, and yeah. It's sad when they get sick. So, Haley Woe 112. My uncle has become forgetful and it is worrying. Also, it is causing problems with her health. And if we could all send out thoughts and prayers to Haley Woe 112's uncle and also to Haley. Um, both for her uncle, and hopefully he's, his forgetfulness becomes a little better, and hopefully Haley's health doesn't get as affected so much. I'm forgetful. We're all forgetful. I write everything down now. Jerry Colburn's given us an update since we haven't done shout-outs in a long time. We don't know how everybody's been doing, so thank you, Jerry. Let's tell everybody how you're doing. I was in the hospital in July. I had pneumonia and I was real I was really badly dehydrated. Doctor had trouble getting me hydrated even with the IV. My heart rate was staying up so high when I came home. I was put on home home health for a month. I was happy to say this Thursday is my last nurse visit or at least till I get put back in the hospital. Then I will probably be put back on it but as for now I'm doing great knock on wood but yeah I'll please pray for my family especially my mama she lost her brother yesterday 
and we are fixing to go to the viewing as I speak. So keep us in your thoughts and prayers as we help Mama through this difficult time. Our thoughts and prayers are definitely with you and with your Mama at this difficult time. We, I especially, it's been a little over a year since I lost my dad and it is a very difficult time. And let's hope you don't go back in the hospital, Jerry, and yeah. uh, that things work out and you stay healthy and you stay home. And Kyle Muhlenbein, gave us an update. Update on my dad. The surgery went okay. They had to take him back in because he was bleeding a lot. So they stitched, stitched him up. He stayed in the hospital for five days. He is now home and recovering from the surgery. He cannot drive for a while. So we're glad the surgery went well. Our thoughts and prayers are still with you and your father, Kyle, and um, Anybody else out there who needs thoughts and prayers, our thoughts and prayers are always with you all. And now I am going to pass it over to Kevin so that he can give you the answer from last week's question and ask a new question. Okay, so last week I asked about the movie it. it was actually a miniseries. They eventually turned into a movie, yada, 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 from 1990. And the question was, since it was supposed to be in, uh, filmed, in, filmed in Derry, Maine, which is where most of Stephen King's stories take place, where was it actually filmed? And uh, the answer was, it was shot in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, in, Can in Canada. And uh, those who got that correct were... Harry Johnson and the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! Congratulations, guys! And tonight we just watched the movie Catch It because it has Kane Hodder in it. And that's uh, oh, that's one of uh, Val's new boyfriends. And uh, so, question is um, so we watched the 2006 movie Hatchet with Kane Hodder. Uh, the question is about Hatchet 2, though, because there's three of them, and I actually, you could actually watch them one by one, uh, and continuously, if you wanted to, and it would make sense. Um, why was it pulled from the theaters after two days? I didn't know it was. See, I just learned, well, I haven't even learned it yet. Anyway, guys, there you have it. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We all love you very, very much. Stay tuned for next week for more shout-outs. Make sure you subscribe and let us know if you want a shout-out. Subscribe and give a shout-out. Anything else? I don't know what I used to say. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I used to, I know I used to say that you were all part of our neighborhood community. I love each and every one of you out there. You did that already. I know, but that's all, all right. I remember that I used to say. So we'll see you guys next week on another shout out. And if you want a shout out, let us know. Bye.